Real Love Romances number 26, featuring Ernie in The Singing Rivals, Lily Bell in Safety in Numbers, plus other thrilling romances. Romance Breaker So that's Brad Parker. <laughs> Forget about him, Gwen. He's Connie Adams' private property. Gwen knew what she wanted, Brad Parker, but when she wanted something, she got it, no matter how, only this time. I like that man, and when Gwen Hammond likes something, she goes after it and gets it. Is that what you're thinking, darling? It's kind of stuffy in here, honey. Let's catch some fresh air. What a moon. I sure am glad I could make it tonight. I've had so much coaching to do lately. And I've missed you so, honey. Two whole weeks since we had a date. That's the toughest part of working my way through college. Not having time to see enough of you. It, it's pretty tough sometimes, dear. But I don't mind too much. You've been a good sport about it, Connie. I know you've turned down other dates and just sat around. But someday soon, I'll be able to ask you the thing I want more than anything else. Oh, Brad. Anyway, I have tomorrow afternoon free. At least we can have that together. Wonderful, Brad. I'll meet you right after our sorority meeting. We're going to discuss the new pledges. The next afternoon at the sorority meeting, it's really a feather in our cap, girls, that Gwen Hammond's all ready to accept our bid. Every sorority on the campus has been after her. With her money and influence, Gwen can do plenty for the Gamma Tau sorority. Telephone for you, Connie. Sounds like your big moment. Thanks, Edith. I won't be able to make it this afternoon, Connie. I have to attend to some business. I'm awfully sorry, but... Oh, Brad, I'm sorry too, but I understand. Later. I was so anxious to see him this afternoon, but I guess his work comes first. He sounded so disappointed. Well, he sure got over it fast. Take a look, Connie, coming this way. Brad, with Gwen... I heard she had designs on him. Leave it to Quinn. Anybody's boyfriend is fair game. I ought to know. She took a boyfriend away from me. Ooh, that smug superior attitude of hers. And how could Brad lie to me like that? I ought to blackball her out of the sorority. That would take her down a peg or two. But you know our rules. It takes two blackballs to keep her out, Connie. A few days later, the sorority met to vote on the new pledges. Ooh, by the way, Connie, Brad sent his regards to you. He's a lot of fun, isn't he? Or wouldn't you know anymore? Steady, Connie. The cat has her claws out. All right, girls, you're to stay in this room while we take a vote. Of course, you know that two black balls eliminate you. If Connie were twins, when would get two black balls? Oh, she wouldn't dare to be such a poor sport. Soon. All the votes are in, girls. Now we'll see how our pledges stand. I'm glad I didn't blackball her. I'll fight her on even terms. Well, girls, you've all been admitted to Gamma Tau. Congratulations! However, Gwen Hammond received one black ball, so that puts her on trial for another six months. Me? Blackballed? Connie, she... Gwen, I want you to know that I didn't blackball you. You're lying. I know you are. But that black ball isn't going to help you hold your boyfriend. Now I know I'm going to take him away from you. I don't blame you, Gwen. Connie was a poor sport to blackball you. They really think I blackballed her, Edith, but I didn't. Forget it, honey. Connie, you'd better ask Brad to go to that sorority dance we're having Saturday, or Gwen might beat you to it. I don't care. If Brad wants to go with her, it's all right with me. Connie, look out! Hi, Connie. I, I guess Gwen has the inside track now, Edith. The next day. Connie, wait. Listen, sugar, I hear Gamma Tau is giving a dance this Saturday, and somebody I want to ask me hasn't thrown a bid my way yet. Hasn't Gwen Hammond asked you? Why, yes, yeah, she asked me, but, but you know the girl I want to go with. I suppose she told you about the black ball, too? As a matter of fact, she did. I wonder why anyone would want to do that. Gwen's a pretty nice sort of gal, and... You don't have to beat around the bush with me, Brad Parker. I'm sure Gwen told you I was the one who blackballed her. Connie, what are you raving about? I'm not raving. What's more, you better accept Gwen's invitation because there won't be another one from me. Okay, 
If that's the way you want it. Later. <laughs> it's all over between Brad and me, Edith. I'm not even going to that old dance. But you must go, Connie. Don't give Gwen the satisfaction of thinking she's kept you away. Ask Steve to go. He's always liked you. She'll gloat if you're not there. The night of the Gamma Tau dance. Hello, darling. We're having a wonderful time, aren't we, Brad? Look, Gwen's dancing with Connie's ex-boyfriend. Connie's putting on a brave front, pretending she doesn't mind she's lost Brad to Gwen. But it must be tough. This is the time to play my trump card. Quiet, everyone. Gwen Hammond has a special announcement to make. I just want all my sorority sisters to know that Brad Parker and I are engaged to be married. Oh, Gwen, how wonderful. Congratulations. At least Connie Adams can't blackball me from her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> just a minute, everybody. I have an announcement to make, too. It's time everybody knew the truth about that blackball. Connie never blackballed Gwen. I did. What? Did you hear that? Edith did it. Yes, I did it. And I'm not sorry. I'd do it again because I never believe the sorority should accept members who are cruelly selfish and take whatever they want regardless of anyone else's feelings. I think you owe everybody an explanation, Gwen. We're not engaged, and never have been, and you owe Connie an apology. But, but, I, I, let me through. Connie, wait! <laughs> Connie, you couldn't have believed what she said, not even for a second. You know I could never love anybody but you. But, but you were riding around with her. Oh, that. She hired me to coach her in some subjects, and since she paid better than most, I couldn't very well refuse. She used to pick me up at my dormitory in her car, but I think she's one pupil I can do without in the future. Oh, Brad, I'm so happy. The end.